Ladies and gentlemen, let's read game into the video. We're going to be taking a look at the Banner Saga Chapter 1 by Stoic. Stoic originally were part of Bioware, but the trio of them branched off and since have created the Banner Saga. Now, the Banner Saga is a tactical strategy uh, adventure and plays homage to titles like, say, Shining Force. Right now we have chapter one, there's three titles planned and I have to say that I'm really enjoying it. It's Viking based and the reason behind all of that is basically the developers wanted to get away from the traditional elves and goblins and so on affair and they wanted to create something a little bit more down to earth. It's a game where a decision you make can have heavy impact on the game's progression and therefore a wrong choice can definitely have a negative impact. It does implement an auto save system and despite the fact that there are multiple difficulties, oh by the way guys in case you're wondering because of the hat, it's actually just simply because of the green screen. It makes my long hair a lot easier to um, to edit out. So anyway, um, yeah, you know, I, regulars know I don't normally uh, wear anything on my head, it just happens to be that I need a haircut. Anyway, so the game has three difficulty settings. Uh, the first of which is pretty easy. You're not really going to struggle, to be honest, on most of the battles. The later ones, as you're going to see in the upcoming video, is very different. Later on, you're going to really need to break the opponent's armor and use heavy tactics, or you're going to start suffering. There's also things such as finite supplies. Now, you're definitely going to see that in the video. And as it turns out, if your supplies start to dwindle too much and therefore you run out of food, your people are going to die because, well, you can't feed them. And obviously, you're traveling, you're traveling throughout the game with a caravan and you're basically trying to avoid the dredge. Um, and as you progress through, you'll basically have the option of taking um, others that are fleeing from your, um, your pursuers or you can choose to ignore them, you can get involved in conflicts and so on, and each and every one of these decisions that you make is going to heavily influence the game. Um, I'm really a fan of it, I actually really like it so far, I've been playing it for quite a bit. Um, I'm loading a fairly late save, not too late, I don't want to give away too much for you guys um, on our chapter 2 on this particular save, so you guys can get an idea just what... Um, so it was like a fly or something buzzing around annoyingly. Um, just what it's like. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'll... So we're going to take a look at the in-game options first. They're not exactly super bountiful, mostly because of the type of game that this is. First of all, look at the options here. So of course you can resume, load multiple save games. I'll just scroll through just to give you an illustration of how many you can have. So you have a decent amount, which is good because you could easily make huge mistakes in this game. <laughs> Not really, but it's good to always have the option. You can disable sound and uh, sound effects and music should you so desire. So I'm going to just click on resume game and basically I'm in some trouble because I'm basically being ransacked. Um, so we're here. You can simply click on this to continue, but I'm going to discuss with you guys a little bit about some of the options we've got here. Um, the first one is that you've got days of supplies, right? So... As you progress through the game, your supplies are going to go up and down. Now, if your group of men, your brave warriors, get injured, what is going to happen is that if you're on low difficulty setting, the lowest, you don't have to rest up. But if you're on higher difficulty settings, then you're going to have to rest up a day or two to basically fix them of their various injuries. Okay? So that all takes uh, days of supplies down. The more days of supplies that you have obviously the better off the better shape you're in if on the other hand you have zero and your army continues to march forward you'll die because you have no food in your stomach and as i say the army marches on its belly so uh you can switch different difficulty settings i'm going to be putting on easy i've been playing the game all the way through on normal so far but i'm going to put it on easy simply because i'm going to be commentating and i want to show you guys the battles without too much fuss um 
And I just want to give you guys a basic understanding rather than going super tactical. I just want to try and push on a little bit. I might do some editing in this and cut some stuff out. But for the moment, I just want to show you guys how it progresses, what the basic premise is of the battle rather than worrying about strategy. So, of course, you can easily choose a different orders of your dudes. You can simply do that and just drag them into a different position. You can see that you've got a roster. Um, but for now, all that's going to do is, uh, if I had an injury, it would tell me about that. You can also click this and get a little bit more information if you so desire. I'm just going to click on ready, however, ready whenever. And um, obviously, the game will load in just a second, and then we can continue forth with our battles. Okay, so right now, I am being pretty much set to be ravaged upon. So I can actually adjust the position of my troops however I'd like. I simply click on them and basically move them around. I'm going to do that because I want to take this guy on pretty quickly, actually. Um, and I'm also going to probably move this dude probably there. Um, I'm not sure what the range is on his bow because I'm still trying to get used to all that. So I'm going to shoot him in the face, which I feel is a good option. It looks like I just need to... Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm just one square out. So let's move, say, there. And let's shoot him with a strength. Now, he's not super heavily armored, is what it comes down to. So I can actually take him out without too much difficulty. You see that I've already taken five of his health. Now, this guy, on the other hand, is going to be a little bit different. And he is really heavily armored. Now, I actually am thinking that it's a probably a good idea to most likely move there for a moment. I don't want to move too far. I'm pretty sure I'm out of her range of attack. Okay, I am. So I'm going to end the turn. Yep, I'm going to clarify that. All right. Now this guy's going to smack me one, which is acceptable. I, I, uh, I accept his hit and I move forward. Now... We can attack this guy, of course. Now, I'm going to focus. If I, Let's just try and do a physical hit on him for a moment and watch what happens. I do a little damage. Not much, but it's certainly a little bit. Okay, that's not good because he's going to hit, and that's probably very bad for me. But I'm, first of all, I'm going to take this guy out because I just want to at least eliminate one. Okay, he's overkilled. That's good. All right, I'm going to move back a smidgen. Uh, let's see. All right, I'm going to shoot him in the face. Now, these guys, as I said, they're not heavily armored. So, I can deal a reasonable amount of damage with them. Ow. Oh, that worked out well. Thanks, bro. You just blasted your own friend's armor. I'll accept that. I'll move there for a second. All right, let's see. Uh, I'm going to take out some of his armor. Which, basically, if you take out enough, you can deal, like, crippling damage real fast. Okay, good. I hoped you would go after him. I'm going to go back there, and I'm going to deal some more damage. A battering ram. Let's see what happens, shall we? Yeah! Push you back, bro! Yeah, and I'll knock my shield as well, because I'm awesome like that. Now, I'm going to keep smacking him one, because I don't like him. He's, he's not my friend, just to clarify. I'd like some clarification up in here. And I'm just going to... Uh, you know what? I'm just going to move for a second. I'm just going to move my dude. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I was going to move and shoot him, but I'm going to actually just take this guy out, I think. I feel that's the safer option. I want to gang up on him. I'm going to be like a schoolyard bully. I'm going to bully him. Ow! Not come hit me. That's just not cool. Now, you have no armor, my good sir. Why? Because I battering rammed him. So I'm going to move uh, her over. And this allows me to demonstrate another feature. So you can see that in the blue is how I can move, right? So any of those don't take any resources. But if I use those, it basically uses pretty much willpower. I can't remember the exact technical term is. But if you use that, it's going to use up a certain amount of that willpower slash mental focus. And doing so... Um, You've only got a certain finite amount, so you just need to be quite kind of smart about it. But I'm going to just uh, shoot him in the face again. I like doing that. I don't know if you've noticed. You see how much damage that dealt. Okay, cool. Oh, that worked out extraordinarily well. You just trashed your own uh, dude's uh, armor up. Okay, cool. 
All right, let's give this guy another battering ram because I want to push him back again. Yeah, get back there, bitch. Okay, stop hitting me from behind. Anyone who hits from behind is a coward, apart from me, of course. That is completely acceptable. I'm just going to move... Actually, oops. I'm just going to move my dude there. And... You can shield warm with him, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to smack him one. So, I'm just... As you can see... Okay, this guy's now pretty pissed at me. He's not a happy camper. He's not camping merrily at all. Any way, shape, or form. Alright, let's try and move this guy here. And I'm going to see if I can shoot. Okay, I'm just a smidgen out, so I'm going to end the turn. Now, can I shoot him? I can. Alright, I'm going to focus on trying to break down his armor. Alright, and I'm going to uh, try and deal more damage to his armor. Alright, and I'm going to move my dude there. And you guess what I'm going to do before I even do it? Yes, see now we can do some serious damage to him. So because of that, I'm actually going to take that. Okay, my arm is still holding, which is pretty sweet. Alright, actually, I'm just going to move my dude, let's say there. Use some of that will. Now hopefully I can actually get a good attack on him. Actually, I think that's going to probably kill him. Excellent. Victory. Yeah. Okay, cool. Promotion. Tempered by blood and pain. And resolve, don't forget. Okay, difficulty. Um, don't, okay, if you're frustrated and you need a tougher challenge, press escape key. You're, any times that had no effect on the story or the choices you make. Which is, I quite like, actually. It doesn't penalise you. So if you're just... Now, the reason I like that is because let's assume that you're someone who doesn't really want to struggle they just want the storyline well you can do that you can just focus on enjoying the game on the other hand if you're someone who really wants a tactical turn-based combat then you've got that option as well and i appreciate that so anyway this is an example of a storyline decision so a black horde is forming on the tree lawn and off of this says either glancing over his shoulder we're going back then as rook i'm going to see one more of these houses around here see if you can find anyone argue to head back immediately or you can keep watch so, I'm going to say, okay, let's agree with this dude. Alright, as you turn, time, run it. Do you want to shoot it with an arrow? Okay, I have no idea which... It sounds, uh... Let's shoot it with an arrow. Let's try... Throws himself between them, catching the mace with her and returns a favour. Is Owen was alright? Okay, good. Sweet. I made it. Alright, cool. So, let's continue a little bit more. Uh, ah, now, that's good. See show in-game cutscenes. A few... Gods, this is bad. So I actually quite like the style of this game. Um, now, this is a very, very long game, obviously, and there's no way in hell that I can do a traditional action first impressions because um, it's not really like that. Um, I just more am focused on trying to show you guys a little bit of how the game style runs. Uh, if I'm enjoying it, which I am, I really am. Um, I think it's fun. I'm not typically into these type of games, if I'm honest, like turn-based strategies, um, but I'm really enjoying it. I love the art style. I like the way the story's going so far. I'm not going to spoil it too much storyline-wise. I'm just That's why one of the reasons is why well, I'm trying to show you guys some early unedited footage, just to give you an idea of what how the game flows more than anything. Um, so anyway, I'm going to show you guys the GS to hair more. Alright, uh, so we can click on heroes and let's have a look. Alright, items. Alright. Okay, let's put that on. Sweet. Okay, Ivor's wearing that. Alright. Zero points available so far. Promote. 
promotion of the greatest warrior assets are uh, da, 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 da. increase your item rank, build higher stats. Continue. Are you sure you want to promote for five renown? Okay, so we can now look at what we want to do. Let's see. I'm going to increase his strength a little bit. Uh, you can actually do this as well, so we can see exactly what each of them does. So, do you want to increase the armor? Do you want to increase the strength? Do you want to increase the willpower? Allow to move up further. Exertion of willpower, given any situation, and breaks the amount of damage, direct damage to enemy's armor. And finally, you can do that as well. So, that's kind of nice. Uh, I'm going to probably focus on armor for now, because I want to make sure that I continue to live, don't you know? Um, good, I'll definitely. Uh, look at this guy. Let's see. Rook. Okay. See that I can only promote a couple of them so far. So I'm going to promote him. Build higher stats. Item rank. Yep, definitely. So basically, renown, which you get through battles, is almost like your EXP in that respect. So we can do anything we want. We can uh, increase his armor once again. We can... Well, you guys can see I'll just repointed it out to you. So, let's say, for example, that's how much health you've got, right? Uh, willpower, exertion, the amount of willpower, ability, armor, block damage. Your strength minus their armor equals damage. Um, I'm going to probably increase the break on this guy, and I'm also going to increase most likely agility, the power cost you wields. That sounds pretty good to me, actually. Mm. Uh, what's up, smartly? Mark Parker. Alright, I think I'm, for now, I'm just going to stick with that. I think I'm going to put two points in that, because I just want to be able to destroy some armor, because armor is bad. Okay, I think that's everyone upgraded. Oops, actually, I haven't accepted that, have I? Okay. Confirm. Let me just go back to this dude. I'm going to put one on here, and I'm going to put one on that. Okay, confirm. Cool. It wasn't exactly the order I had last time, but that's fine. Alright, let's uh, back out. Press the wrong button there. Okay, cool. And we'll back out one more time. So hopefully you guys have gotten a rough understanding of that. Obviously it's just saving. So let's go with... Okay, but let's have a look at the supplies. Total available, renowned supplies and everything else. Alright, uh, day's worth. One renowned gets free. Okay. I'm probably going to focus on lap for now. So, Renown is basically for everything, so I'm just gonna... I think that's okay. Okay, cool. Uh, I, uh, let's see. The Great Hall. Thanks God you made it. The dredge milling around. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So, I think we can hold out. I trust either. Abandoning in the storehouse. Okay, I'm just trying to show you guys a little snippet of gameplay. Um, okay, you step in the courtyard, uh, others.
Okay, we've got another dude. One of a actually looks like a girl, but regardless. Uh, okay, so we've got another person into the fray. I have a feeling this is going to go quite poorly, but let us attempt. Alright, so we're somewhat surrounded. Uh, I think I'm going to leave my position actually as is. I'm alright with that so far, because I don't really know how the battle is going to play out anyway. Uh, I'm going to move my dude, let's say... Can I shoot you yet? No. So I need to probably be somewhere around this vicinity, I'd imagine. Ah! Let's see how much more damage now we can deal with him. Yep, I pissed him off. Yeah, what are you going to do, bro? Okay, at least we can take this one out before he does any further damage. Sweet. Promoted as well. Uh, I think I'm going to move my candy ass right there. Uh... Oh, okay, he's done. Uh-oh. Yeah, okay, I can, I could be alpha. Alright, now this guy has a lot of life, but I actually think I'm going to try stonewall him because I want to see what happens. Probably going to regret doing that. I have that feeling. Pew! Alright, definitely not going to happen. So I'm just going to end the turn. Uh... Probably going to regret this. Wait. Yeah, my alpha dude. Come on, Ivor. Let's do some skull bashing. Yeah, get back there. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need armor, do you, my friend? Very nice armor you got there. You can see how much more damage I'm able to do to him each and every time. So, it really... I mean... I wouldn't say that it's always critical to take out the armor for the big guys. But I'd say that, for the most part, if you don't, you're going to probably be having a far tougher time of it. So, you can see right now that I'm pretty much going to be killing this guy in the next hit. So, I'm going to just uh, do Mark... Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's just take him out. All right, let's let's uh, let's move her there. And take her out. Cool. So, pretty simple. I might uh, knock up the difficulty a little bit. As, as I said, I just wanted to show you guys the basic premise of the battle rather than getting murdered. All right. To your left, Ivor is lying a large... Laying into a large colossus behind him, elderly man scrambling to his feet. Pass that is help the fighters. Keep try to keep everyone together. Oops. Ah. Morale has become poor. Well, I'm not doing too badly. I've got a few days of supplies. At least I've got food, right? So, I actually really like the way that you progress through here. I'm actually managing to save my... Uh, some of my dudes, anyway. Um, so, you can see what I mean about the distinctive art style, which is why they'd say... Graphical options aren't too much of a big deal for him.
Pretend to know what to do. That's certainly going to help. Ah, another rune. Excellent. Weak morale. So I actually really love the graphical stylings of this. So, allow the men to join you. The hidden watering hole nearby is teeming with animals, and soon your supplies are nicely restocked. Ah! Sweet! That actually helped my morale as well, I think. During the rest, one of the men gets too drunk, and I'm splashing them A brawl erupts, many f is tossed around at your face. Laugh at the scuffle. Encourage the others to let the issue drop. See, I think if we're going to public apologise, that might just be a bit too much. And these different decisions that you make, as I said, affect morale, affect um, just how many people survive. Because obviously the more people that join you... Ah... more people who join you, the more, basically, your supplies are going to diminish fairly quickly. So, we can go to the market, we can buy uh, various bits and bobs. I'm going to study promo. Okay, let's see. I'm going to buy definitely some of that. Alright, that sounds good to me. That's eight days of supplies. That sounds pretty good. Cool. Alright, so... Let's go to Heroes, see what we got. Alright, uh, what does that do? Hmm. Put that on him. Sounds reasonable to me. Okay. Uh, look around. We can promote her. Probably a good idea to promote her. She's not really doing that much damage as is. So I'd say it's probably a good idea. I'm definitely going to have her do more damage to that. I'm definitely going to have her have more health. Because frankly it's just pitiful right now. want to see this guy upgraded. Because I think he's just going to be... Uh, I think he's just going to be a force. So. Anyway. Uh, back one. So And that's basically our idea. I think you get a rough idea. Which we can rest up. There we go. Uh, which, as I said, becomes more pronouncedly important if you're in a position where you're playing on a harder difficulty. I've, I'm not. Uh, predominantly because, as I said, I'm trying to just show you guys as much stuff as possible. I don't want to be particularly making huge tactical decisions in battles because that's probably not going to be conducive of anything. But I actually thought those, arms, those arrows were sticking into him for just a second. Piercing a sword... Okay, I've never seen a shield like this before. I'm practicing with it. Good. Making the little fella happy. Which is good. Uh, Vile clansmen fighters. Not doing too badly, at least I don't think. Well, possibly doing pretty badly, but okay. Who am I to who am I to argue? Let's see. And now we can travel onwards.
A third man, shut your mouth. Uh oh. Be anything tangible. I won't kill men for defending their homes. Side with the villagers either. Let's make this a fair fight. Hmm. That's a question. I think I make a poor farmer. Settle this yourselves. Don't get involved. I will kill. I won't kill men for defending them homes. Side with the brothers. Yeah, you get your candy ass in there. I'd be pissed if she just, just disappeared. Okay, so you have a feeling this is going to get quite... Uh... Let's move you there. And I'm going to leave you of most of your life. You don't have a problem with that, do you? Obviously, it's so tough shit. Ow! Bastard. Ow! Bastard! Two hits! You know what? Let me move here. Can we use battering ram on those guys? No. Okay, that's unfortunate. Oh. Can't have everything, I suppose. You know what? Move my dude there. Definitely gonna stone wall. Okay, let's take you out. Where the hell are you going? Bloody flail, I like it. Oh, man's getting his ass kicked. Okay, you just did that to me. That's not cool, bro. I'm the one that's supposed to be doing the bloody flailing around here. All right, let's move myself there. Ooh, that looks a bit vicious. Apparently I pissed this guy off. Okay, that's acceptable. I'm kind of curious what happens if I use battering ram on this guy. Yeah. Ooh, okay, maybe that was a bit of a mistake. I fucked up everyone's armor. Yeah, deflect. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. And so forth. That's irritating, isn't it? Oh. Ooh, that's a bit vicious. No more flails for you, my friend. Ow. Oh. You know what? I don't want to be there. I just got a feeling it's probably a bad idea. Yeah, no armor now. Oh, and you got battered on the head. Ow, one of my dudes has fell, fallen over. Okay. He's done. And he's also done. Sweet. We can promote Iva. Yeah. Sweet. 
Ow. Sucks to be you, my friend. Forward march. Twenty two fighters, bloody hell. Thirty supplies. Oh, that was amazing. That was a good that was a good option. I'm trying to skip through this relatively quickly just to show you guys stuff, because obviously this is one of those games that is very story-driven. And I think that's a good place to call it, guys. I think you have a relatively good idea of what the game's about. It, on this, particularly on the harder settings, it is a very, very strategy-driven. Um, as I said, I'm playing this on normal, which means that I'm dealing, getting, well, an easy ride. Let's put it that way. On harder difficulty settings, you're going to definitely have a lot more challenge. But... I like the fact that the game gives you the option. You can go with the, you know, very tactical, okay, I have to think about every single thing. It becomes a lot more crucial, by the way, to break that armor on heavier settings, the higher difficulty settings. I really like this. Um, I, it's not typically my game. Like, these type of games aren't really normally the thing I go for. Uh, go for. But I actually really like it. Um, and for anyone who's interested in you know viking culture medieval culture um that type of warfare or turn-based strategy it's a perfect title it's a good story uh, there's a lot of reading involved which may put some people off but i really like it admittedly there is a slight lack of options i'd like to have seen resolution options in there quite honestly i think that would have helped um and obviously this game does have a some degree of replayability because you can go with different uh, scenarios and you just don't know how things are going to play out. So, with that said, I'm going to get going. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. It's been a brief one, of course, but as I said, I could be showing you guys this for quite a while because I've not even gotten that far into the game yet. So, anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed it. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.